<laughs> we are. The beauty hat. Yay, and we just did an Instagram live and oh. I'll try and save it and at some point put it up as an IGTV because it was just a on Instagram, ask us anything. And I put up a thing saying, Joe's coming over on Friday and ask us anything. And they asked us the weirdest questions, didn't they? Yeah, like, what was it? What's your favorite sex toy? Tip. 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 Not toy, tip. Oh, tip. Yeah, but even so, I'm quite prudish when it comes to that sort of thing. Well, that's because we started doing the live at about two o'clock. We're filming this slightly later and the tequila is out. So things <laughs> might change. I'm still not going to give you my best sex tip because I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I was racking my brains trying to think. No, I was thinking. I know I what not to do. Don't ask me what to do. Yeah, what is a sex tip? I don't oh, know. anyway, another day. Just the tip. <laughs> That's the best tip. Just the tip. <laughs> right, we are the beauty hags. We haven't got together for probably about a month now. So what we thought we'd do is just a roundup of new and interesting things that we've quite liked that have landed on our desks. Now, Joe is completely independent, so Joe is testing and being sent not quite as many things as me, but quite a lot now. So mm. go for it. We've been meaning to do this for ages. I'm yeah. fascinated by this. Okay, I bought this from Beauty Pie because it came up on one of their newsletters. And I just immediately, it says... Mascara reviver. So clever. And, it, and it's like exactly it, it, that get that, that as a message of a product is like spot on. It's not trying to be clever. Um, and it just gets right to the point. But also, how many times do we use mascaras and you suspect that they haven't run out? Mm. What's actually happened is they've just dried out. Yeah, and also, you know, like sometimes you get to the middle of the day and your mascara's gone a bit spiky yeah. and like, you know, it just needs, but you can't and put you mascara can't layer it on because no. they've set hard. Yeah. So Wait, what does this do? This does. It just sort and of... And I'm genuinely new to this, so feel free to educate me. I think it was about, it cost me about £3.20, like something like that, it was dirt cheap. Um, and it's already, it's got some pigment in it, as you can see, but it's also, like, okay, watch mine, ready? So, oh, do you want to do yours? Uh, no, okay, so can we talk about the fact that, yet again, her eyelashes virtually touch the screen. Huh. She's still using Rapid Lash. They're getting longer and longer and longer. She rocked up earlier on today. She had smudges here and right the way down, <laughs> down here, because her lashes are so long, it's ridiculous. Okay, look at what that's just done to those. Oh my God. So it's basically brought them like back either. to life. Yeah. So they become glossier and more flexible. Yeah, again. and then the mascara starts to become a bit more malleable underneath. Yes. How long does it take for the mascara to become a bit more malleable? Oh, just like now, nah, like yeah. within seconds. So no. I wonder if it's got an oil in it. I'm fascinated. I'm going to use it. I mean, it obviously, now. I've got no idea you're, what's in it. You're going to get up. <laughs> I look like, what's the neck? That's the guy from um, Clockwork Orange. Yes. Oh, just got one, one eye now. <laughs> um, oh my God, that's incredible. I know, it's really great. Right, I've got. What mascara did you have on? I've got L'Oreal Ultimate on, let's see. I had, um, oh, which I was, we were supposed to talk in this one as well, but you've nipped it. Lash Surge. Oh, okay. I'm stealing that. You we'll can. Talk, you talk, can talk, talk about it now. Why yeah. is it so good? It's basically like um, a dupe, like an amazing dupe for, actually, I don't even know if it's a dupe. It's just a really great mascara. It's called Lash Surge and it's by Collection, who um, the last time I bought anything from them, from them was called Collection. See, look at that. Amazing, isn't it? I'm not sure whether it's just a, li a nice, lightweight, moisturising mascara or whether it's actually got some active ingredient in it that sort of slightly hydrates, moisturises, unsets the mascara, the mascara and then resets it. Well, whatever it does, it definitely revives it, doesn't it? I might have to look at the inky list of that. I know. I'm impressed by that. I know, it's really good. Because I agree with you, with the exception of Bad Girl Bang, I can't layer any mascaras. Once they're set, they're set. Yeah, they're exactly. Set. And if you go back in, it just gets claggy. Yeah, and it, but on always they get to the middle of the day. You know, especially if you want to go out at night and you've been wearing something, a mascara yeah. all day, and yeah. you can't be bothered to yeah, take the whole eye off. off no. Yeah. Also, can I just suspect, I think you've just got a girl crush on Mars. Kilgore as Obviously, well. Obviously, yeah. Founder. Is that my, that's my mascara, that's my blusher, isn't it? No, it's oh, mine. It's what colour yeah. is that? Orgasm. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I it's... do like orgasm, it's nice. And can I just say, uh, Joe's got a little bit more blusher on than normal. Can you vote below if you like it? I like it. You can't see it still, she doesn't. You? Yeah, she doesn't normally wear much blusher and I think it looks really nice on her. I think blusher looks good on everyone. But I don't know, why did you say you don't put blusher on? Because I just, I have a minimum amount of time and then that has to be used doing skin and... So you'd rather do a lip than a blusher and I'd rather no, do No, I wouldn't. Usually most lip. days I'd just wear a little bit of skin, do my brows. 
and that's it. Okay. I won't bother to do much else than that, unless I was going in your face. I definitely. Oh, you're dyeing your eyelashes. Now your lashes are super long. What yeah. are you dyeing them with? Um, Color Sport 30 Day Mascara. 30 Day Wilco. Mascara. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's not much, five quid. No, it's brilliant. Like that. It completely lasts because what happens is now that your lashes are getting super, super, super long, they'll become really pale at the end and yeah. they'll lose their pigment. They get a bit And I think just dyeing them again makes a real difference. Yeah, but I think some people think that it's going to give them. The look of a mascara, it doesn't. and it doesn't. Yeah. It just dyes them. Yeah. They're the same length, the same volume. They're they just, just dark. Yeah, exactly. They just. But you, you are amazed at how they do become super light towards the end. I think it's just the wear and tear. Mm. And obviously, your eyelashes are longer and older than most people's now because you've got the rapid lash. Yeah. Line. And I think just tough dyeing. Do you find it easy to do? Yeah, My you don't have really to keep your eyes closed. No, or I know. Anything. It's basically like put, you mix up two things, don't you? Yeah, like hair dye. And then you put it on a mascara, like a mascara, don't yeah. you? And you got a few uses out of it. Yeah, there. I know. It's really, it's such a great product. Yeah, it's really underrated. It's really, it's really been, old school. Isn't been it? around for years. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. It's like Batiste. Yes, original. You Batiste. forget how good they are. Yeah. No, oh, I know. But that um, I love. I want to uh, give a quick shout out to I've now finally my nails are back. I gave them a complete detox for eight weeks because they were damaged in a local salon by somebody that was drilling my natural nails and over buffing and Ooh. it ruined them. Ooh. Anyway, they're back now and this gel was done properly at Dry By, which is this amazing CND training place in central London. Um, so they're back and they're really healthy. However, when they start growing out, I want to introduce you to what I go in on, okay? So there are a couple of really good relatively long lasting relatively long lasting normal 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 um polishes and i've just found a dupe for um c and d field fox and it's the new rimmel 60 second super shine oh that looks nice and the name is oh old ladies trying to read a name and i absolutely I love it. it they've got a new collection out for spring they've got a gold an orange and a sort of corally color which are absolutely beautiful five six one YOLO. Sorry about that. I'm gone off it now. But basically it's the most beautiful dupe for Field Fox and it's that classic beige, greyish, Kelly Hop and Oh, it's that sort of nail that you like, and isn't it? And it's really, really... No, but I mean, you like that sort of like nude buffed nail, don't you? Do you put a, a top coat on over the top? I know you're pulling faces As at me. As opposed to what? I know exactly that you're doing that because I have an 11 year old who does that when I'm brushing her hair in the morning. I am essentially an overgrown 11 year old. Go on, as opposed to what sort of nails? As opposed to something flashy and bright. I never oh, yeah. see you with anything like okay. that. So that is Rimmel 60 second Super Shine. They do last quite well. I paint it over my base gels when they're growing out and that is YOLO. Two quid. I'm too old for YOLO. Too yeah. old for Yola. Such a great product. And I remember when I was on this morning doing a test and that winning the, we actually painted the model's nails. We let them dry for 60 seconds and they did an assault course. And I'm sure that one came out top. <laughs> and we did. We worked hard back I in mean, the day. I mean, they did an assault course. No, we did. I believe you. No, we did. By the way, this isn't called just YOLO. What's it called? Hashtag YOLO. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's even worse. I know, I know. It's only because we're too old. Yeah, exactly. To, to hashtag YOLO. Your next one. Um, so I've got, oh, I've got the Glossier. Now, can I just say, I haven't even watches. seen these. Love that one. That looks really good on, no, 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 no. It makes me look like Pat Butcher. You can put the green one on me, which I suspect also looks like shit. Why wouldn't this make you look like Princess Diana? Because my, I think it's because my eyes are green. I think it looks good on brunettes and women with darker skin tones. Do you know what I like? It's, it's been inspired by David Hockney Pottery. <laughs> That's green. It's a wash. So where does it go? On your lids. Just on your lids. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's the, like a, it is for your lids. Yeah. I like. I oh my god, that green. What? Don't like it. Oh, let's see that one. Yeah, they're like modern way of like young yeah. kids using. I'm not modern. No, nor am I, but I like to know what the kids are using. Oh, Shrek! <laughs> <laughs> that is Shrek, isn't it, look? If you are a dark, if you've got a darker skin tone, that, that brown, is gonna pop. Actually, I will steal that brown off you. That brown is bloody gorgeous. That's really nice. That's a nice brown. See, it's the kind of thing you just, I like So this that's one. stronger than a wash, though, that one. That one's quite heavily coloured. Yeah, that is. That's like nice. sort of cocoa colour. Like, that proper warm brown colour. Mm. How much are they? Playful. What? How much are they? What? That green. I really want to see you in that green. Can I put the green on you? Yeah. 
I literally would I don't mind you putting any colour on me apart from that blue. I really you know, wanted that blue you to know. look good. I absolutely why don't you put green on one and blue on can, the other? Can I? Yeah. You know that I absolutely can put eyeshadow on. Yeah, no, so I know. You haven't got to worry about it. No. You, <laughs> you have got the ability, close your eye, to carry off anything from as we know from when I did your really conservative eye makeup. And I really could probably do a completely outrageous colour. Oh, off. There you go, have a look. Can you see? Oh, let me get you a mirror. Hold on. Obviously, I can't see past my nose. <laughs> oh, no, let me get you the times 30 Oh, minutes. yeah, so great. really freak out. I know that's all right. Oh. I quite like that. Let's have a look. It goes really nice with a red quite... lipstick. And also, it really suits you. That really does suit you. put the blue on. Put the blue on the other eye. <laughs> Why don't you like the blue? Tell me what's happening with the Because I think it looks, makes me look like a hat butcher. Do you know what her... Um, Explain who Pat Butcher is to a whole generation of people who don't know who So Pat my mum and dad used to watch EastEnders when we were growing up. I used to hate it's it. It's incredibly milky, sort of lightweight, yeah. washed texture. Yeah, you're much but more I green think person. The green looks so much better on you. But I think as well, it's, okay. a, it's a sort of counter to that heavy makeup look. Do you know what I mean? That all, not all young girls. Yeah, the cut crease shading. No, the green suits you better than the blue, doesn't it? Yeah. I would wear that green. But do you see what I mean? I want the blue to look good. I, I don't love think the blue, the blue looks bad. No, but... I just don't think the blue goes with that lipstick. No, I don't think it... Honestly, I really don't... It really doesn't look good on any. I'm stealing that one. You can have that one. That's and she's just layering a totally different colour now. While she's doing that, I'm going to move on to my next thing, which I have to say is it's literally just... Oh, I've my loved desk. that I saw that. I really, really... My chosen acid, and I think if you don't really have problematic skin, like you haven't got spots, so you don't need a BHA, you don't need a salicylic acid, or you haven't got a lot of pigmentation issues, therefore you don't really need a glycolic. I really like a lactic acid. I love a lactic acid. And I think it's really hard to find good lactic acids in the UK, mainly because the best one of all time is Sunday Riley, Good Genes Lactic Acid, and it was available here. It's now no longer, and they reformulated it as a glycolic in the UK. You can only get it in the States. If you arrive in the States, buy it, it's brilliant. I'm really liking the new Elemis Peptide 4 Overnight Radiance Peel. And the reason I like it is because it's lactic acid mixed with uh, different four different types of peptides. And I really like the idea of peeling your skin with lactic acid, hydrating it with lactic acid, and then delivering the peptide straight into the skin. And I just think it's a really nice product. It's quite expensive, but it's... Is it? Um, yeah, but I do... And I love this, my texture, my perfect texture for an overnight is that sort of, that's the Sunday Riley gel mm. hydrating thing. Yeah. And I do feel like it's fragranced. they're trying to, Elemis is always fragrance. Okay. I do think that they're trying to create something that's akin to the original Sunday Riley because it's such a cold product. Actually, lactic acid is such a good product. I really like that. It's such acid. a good It's my ingredient. acid of choice for yeah. body and face. Let's have a smell. So it's faint. Mm, yeah. I mean... Listen, in an ideal world, I would have all my skincare unscented, but we have to accept the fact that the vast majority of people don't have a problem with fragrance. Yeah. And I think that's a really nice lactic acid. I used it a couple of nights ago and it's got a gentle tingle to it, but it's not bad. It finishes really quickly. Yeah, no, that's feels. And look how nice and soft that skin's gone straight away. That's like, I want my hands to be like that. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. You could just have some filler in them, you know that, don't you? I know, but where does it stop? I know. I, that I was thinking, someone said to me, oh, why don't you get some te uh, filler in your temple? That will, yeah, that will be the next place to yeah. fill. But then they said that I would need a lot, like at least two vials. It's because you're super slim. Because quite, yeah. here, quite yeah. strong. I, know. I think, uh, yeah, but then that will wear off. And then, or if you get it done there, then you're going to be like, oh. So that's what you can see where people get carried away with it. If you've got an endless budget, trust me, they'll find a new place to fill. <laughs> Just take your money and fill. <laughs> oh, no, you know, do you know? Do you what? Know? You know that you can have filler in your labia. Why? Because as you get older, you lose volume everywhere on your body. So they're developing fillers for men's penises. <laughs> there they are. They already have that though, don't they? And now they're doing fillers for women's labias. Do you not remember like in... Because young, I presume, young labias are plumper. And also because people don't have pubic hair anymore now, they want everything to be perfect and plump and gorgeous. Oh. I just wouldn't want anything injected in uh, that area, would you? I mean, is it any different to the lips down below, to the lips above? I mean, you've got naturally big lips. <sighs> yeah, but I couldn't have Here, that either. I don't have her lips down below. <laughs> <laughs> Thank we're God. friendly, but we're not <gasps> that friendly. But I, but do you remember, like, years ago, they used to be, when I was young, there used to be a programme called The Word. 
Do you remember yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. And they filmed and showed on TV the first ever penis enlargement. <gasps> it was. What did they put in I it? was about, so, oh, well, I thought it was, it was basic, whatever they do to f fill them. I mean, I, thought I was about be, 13. I thought it used to be or, or, autologous, autologous fat. So they used to lipo out the fat and put the fat Yeah, it was in. fat. It was like, so was it? yellow and like Yeah, so, so they looking. lipoed it off his back and sides and then, then they cut a suspensory ligament and then injected well, it. Well, I mean, I was 13 and my dad used to come back from the pub on Friday just, night. Can I just say, very close parental guidance for a 13 uh, year old yeah, I mean being raised in Thade and Boys <laughs> watching penis enlargements at 11 o'clock at night <laughs> I was raised in a council estate in Hackney <laughs> um and that green looks very nice on you yeah though. it's not bad no it's really pretty and yeah so I remember that being seeing that on the word and, and you've just been scarred like, by it ever since I mean it was pretty and when I think if they find a way of getting hyaluronic acid thick enough and turgid enough turgid <laughs> That's Men such would a be hot. lining what? up. For what does I thought turgid means dirty? No, turgid means uh, robust. Robust, solid. Because yeah. turgid sounds too much like turd. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's you know it's one of those words that what no turgid means uh, more solid, more um, stronger, less yes, dense. less less yes, and more dense, less liquid. Or oh, well, this man's penis afterwards, honestly, it just looked like. Did like it look like one, the, one of those sausages that you accidentally forget to prick and it sort of splits open? Oh. <laughs> I love that sort of So thing. many words here, turgid and prick. What do you know that Tom Ford's new fragrance? It's called Rose Prick. What? He's a prick. I'm sorry. You better delete that out. No, no. But. I uh, mean, I, how cool, that's so Because he, caught, he had one called fucking fabulous. Yeah, but that, right, that's still crap and crass and a cheap shot at trying to get publicity. But. Prick. I mean, that, I saw it yesterday. There was a huge purple prick <laughs> in Selfridges, like this huge, and I just thought, actually, I don't want my kids walking by and reading that. I don't want my kids, like, when did it have to be? But didn't you explain to them what rose prick meant? No, because they weren't with me. Oh, okay. I, I don't find it offensive at all. Oh, I do. I think it's cheap. I don't find it offensive, I find it cheap. But it isn't cheap, it's expensive. Yes, Did I you know. smell it? It's very nice. No, I'm not I'm not sm smelling any pricks. <laughs> I just was a bit like, oh, come on, TF, you're better than this. Mm. Maybe he isn't. Well. Right, uh, let's talk about the new, we've both got opinions on the new Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. Mm -hmm. um, what colour are you? I am Ivory Beige. This is um, Dawn, so this okay. is TW. That you, I used yours earlier, yours is definitely warmer than mine. Yeah, okay. Um, now this is the interesting thing about it. Hydra Rescue, to me, sounds like it's going to be moisturising. It's not. I have the most balanced normal, tendency to be a little bit drier as I'm getting older and it's winter skin. I liked this. I Trust me, I like this product. I think it's their equivalent of It Cosmetics CC Cream. It gives a fairly medium to heavy coverage. You need to blend it in on freshly moisturized skin. It's got an SPF 45 in it. It's the same kind of packaging as uh, It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is obviously a cult product. Mm. I find it quite drying. I don't find it like it's um, It Cosmetics. Like, I find It Cosmetics very heavy. I don't. Th I think you get more coverage from It Cosmetics than you do, do with you? this. Do okay. you? But I find that you get a more. But you've got oilier skin. So yeah. did you find it hydrating? Sally loves yeah, it. Sally's I've got dry like, skin. But I've just put it on mine. Look, you can see that sort but of. I wore it all day, and I just found by the end of the day I was a bit. Dry Did you have um, powder on over the top? I would always put yeah, powder on Yeah, see, I never wear foundation. powder over everything. If anything, it wasn't it cosmetics that it reminded me of. It reminded me more of Pat's foundation, the consistency of it. But I find that really drying too, because towards the end of the day, I just find that it all, they both sat in my lines. Now, okay, I'm old. She's young. No, I'm if not you're young, very I'm young, younger. Then you would be fine with it. But I just found that it highlighted my lines slightly too much. Oh no, I quite liked it. I really like the fact that it's it feels to me like a lighter touch than it cosmetics and that it's less masky, so it doesn't feel as You're not um, getting floggy. on with it cosmetics at the moment, no, are you? No, I've really gone off it. Yeah, I've which really I'm gone still off it. Because I find it really drying. And also this is not a demi matte finish. This is more I think this is more of a dewy finish. It definitely gives me more of a Maybe finish. I overpowdered it, but I'm just saying be careful if you're 
this side of 50. Yeah, I think it's... um. How old Sally? Sally Jam, isn't she? A year Mid older than me. Yeah. I just found it quite... I think it's quite a young person's mascara. A uh, young Foundations. person's foundation. Whereas I've tried two things recently that are much more high school that I really like. like. That. Well, that's really interesting because that's got a really heavy coverage. Yeah, I know. Because I do like a heavy coverage. So this coverage. is L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour matte cover, and I'm loving it. Yeah, now, really in real life, it's a bit heavy and a bit Instagrammy. But oh my god, it looks great on camera. Great for nights out, great for special events, and it stays in place all day. And if you want slightly more glowy, I think you might quite like the Max Factor Face Finite. That's super lightweight, oh, that's and it's got a really nice finish to it. Do you know what? Don't I forget these are all in my colours. In fact, the Face Finity is slightly too pale for me. It's making me look a bit ghost-like. It was what I was using when I filmed my Thursday's video, which is in my bathroom, and I looked a bit pale in it, but it's a lovely finish. I've, I actually bought this. Bring back Matt. I've bought this a few times, because there's a really good primer. I'm amazed you like well. it though, because you don't like... Um, yeah, but then you can just put... I find it... I really... I think you get a really good coverage, and it's really good for when you're having really shit skin days. Yes. You know? And yes, you just that's exactly like what it's for. You need a little bit extra. Whereas this, for me, is an everyday foundation. That isn't foundation. a symbol of what you're doing, by the way. What? That isn't just a symbol of what you're doing. It just separated slightly, because it's been on my side. Do you know what side. I don't like? Like, this just... I don't like the bottle, and I know that's a weird thing. No, 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 no. It makes complete sense. I feel like sense. it hasn't ever... Evolve. I think, look how, I mean, I just think you'd love that. It's super lightweight. It's like a tinted moisturizer. About Max Factor. Blends in really easily. But I totally agree. Look. I know. Max Factor have amazing products, but they kind of do need repackaging. I know. And I just think it's just going to be like bourgeois. But once it's on your face, you're not going to notice no. any difference. But, and it's a, look at that beautiful finish. And it's so you. It's lightweight. It's moisturizing. Yeah, I, just, I feel like that's everything that that should be. But that actually delivers. It's just that that's nicer packaging. So, anyway, if you get the chance and you want to go on counter, you need to look at Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue, Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless. And I really like that one. Yeah, you can, I got mine in uh, Sainsbury's. And that's it. Uh, L'Oreal Paris Infallible, Infallible 24 Hour Matte. Uh, okay, sure. next one. Now, she was putting We're this divided on, on this. She was putting her skin, this on her skin earlier on, and then she went to put all the makeup on. I went to put on the Glossier, and everything just rolls off. But she says it's not an oil. Well, Enter Five Dot Botanics. Anyway, this has got in it caffeine, which is obviously why I like it, because it's another one of my addictions. Uh, horse chestnut extracts. It's all anti-inflammatory licorice root. So where's the oil? Oh, oh, it's glycerin. It's not oil. That's why it's got the slip, and that's why I like it. Oh my god, it's just so it's got water glycerin, esculin, which is a horse chestnut seed oil, caffeine, and licorice boost extract. Yeah, what's that last is that one? Caffeine? Really, all it's got in yeah. it, are they just the active ingredients? No, it's only got five ingredients in it, and that's it. I think that it better be because you've just hydrated the area with glycerin, and I think glycerin, I think, oh, I think glycerin is great. If you put I, indeed hydration booster on, it would do the same thing, yeah, but it wouldn't feel. I like the feeling of this. You like the roller, also, I like the cool that's what roller. You need. It comes with a metal ball roller, and that's the advantage is it does feel instantly cooling when it goes on your skin. I like the feel of the texture, just really works for me. It I think it's dry. Get, have you not noticed it's getting oh, less, God, yeah. less oily every like a fucking single prune. day? You've got you hard. I hardly ever see you with any breakouts now. I know. I just have. It one is here. the advantage of getting older. You know that, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Your womb dries up, and then your sebaceous glands dry up. Yeah, and that's when you need to get filler in your fanny, isn't it? <laughs> And then finally, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Eucerin oh. Hyaluron Filler. So they finally, even though they've had a hyaluronic filler range for ages, they finally launched the serum. My only complaint about it is that it is fragranced, but if you don't mind, it's a really beautiful, lightweight. Love, I mean, this is Hyaluron Moisture Booster. For f You'll I love mean, that yeah, feeling. That, You'll this love that is, feeling. Oh, Straight yeah. on the face, over the oh. makeup. And this in, also has a cooling effect yeah. to it. What's in that? And it's basically got, it's in a really nice little glass bottle. It's a reasonably priced early 20 pounds hyaluronic acid. And it was one of the dupes I put into my video, my last IGTV, which was the beauty dupe of the week. And I just think, I think Eucerin actually are really all over hyaluronic acid technology. It's two molecular weights. There's a smaller one that goes into the skin and then there's one that sits on the surface and kind of plumps the surface of the skin. And I just think sticky. it's a really nice product. It is sticky, but it will dry out beautifully. 
and you are putting it on top of glycerin and you really need to put no, it on the No, I didn't put glycerin around. on it. I, no, I used that on my eyes. I didn't put this on my oh, eyes. Oh, didn't you? No, I went like... Oh, down. right, okay. That's very sensible. Uh, so uh, watch out. If you like, like their that. Hyaluron little booster ampules and their Hyaluron with vitamin C, I think that's one well worth looking out for. Are you done? Yeah, I've got them. Oh, okay, I've there you it. go. Brilliant. They are what's new and exciting that's landed on the Beauty Hag's desk. One side of London, a little bit further into London, over the last month. Yeah. I think it's, it's what's new and exciting that's happening in beauty at the moment. I do think foundations. We're going to do a concealer video and we're going to do concealer wars that we'll put up. I'll put up as soon as I've edited it. And I do think foundation and concealers are going through a bit of a sort of... Renaissance. Rena good word, Joe Jones. Do you know what? I, when I was having my, um, founda uh, my concealer um, matched, matched Pat, at Pat, Pat McGrath, McGrath yesterday in Selfridges the makeup artist that was matching it said that they launched the foundation what eight months ago mm -hmm. and she said it, it's been doing well but it's a sort of a slow burn whereas the concealer has just gone bang, bang straight away. and the concealer is bringing people into the foundation mm -hmm. i think that people are more invested in concealer I mean, that's a conversation for when we do our concealer video, but I think concealer speaks to everybody because nobody has perfect skin. Everybody kind of needs a concealer Also, so you put it under or over? I mean, let's discuss. We shall answer <laughs> that in our next videos. Can I just say that green eyeshadow really suits you. It Gosh. almost picks up the yellow in your eyes. It really does. Oh, the red in my eyes. <laughs> That'll be the tequila. Thank That'll you for watching. 666. <laughs> Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I'll put all the details of all the products down below and I'll take some pictures of you. Next up, when Joe and I appear back on this channel, we will be talking about concealer wars. We have fundamentally different opinions on what concealers we like. Mine are better. <laughs> mine are better. <laughs> no, hers are better, mine are better. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye.